Hi everyone. Oops, I'm way zoomed in. Pattern-collections.com is where you're going to go find today's pattern. Today is going to be December 26th. Merry Christmas to y'all. Hope y'all had a great, great Christmas yesterday. And today would be the day we're going to get together with our family. So, um, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, and look, I get a nice organic pattern. Yay! Thank you! Nicole and Ina for giving me an organic pattern for today because after yesterday's grid I really didn't want to do another grid for today. Scroll work inside by Ina Sona Moser. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a lovely scroll nice and big. That's the thing. Don't make it too skinny here because you're going to do work inside there. Next step we're going to do a little arch here. And then we're going to come back this way and when she does dots like that means that it's your um, leaving your imagination that that it would be continuing okay why is it like that it is continue oh no okay so this one goes like this but it doesn't continue down and then the next step you do another one like a heart kind of shape so it's up around around see that and then we do that shape again up around around up around around and so this one this curl here comes up and touches this line I'm going to do it all the way around till we get toward the middle when you run out of room. You're just going to continue this into sort of a mooka like shape right there in the middle. And then you can shade. You can either fill in all the negative space or you can just do those little bits on the edges and it will look like uh, that. So, let's do that. Am I going to do a full tile that way? How am I going to do that? I like the green, so I'm going to use the green page. Zoom in a little bit. I'm going to give myself a border so that I don't get too close to the edge because I hate going too close to the edge. Actually, you know what? I think I want my border a little bit further out. I'm going to make A little got an idea got an idea just popped into my head and I want it a little bit closer to the edge but not super close to the edge like that so I think I want I'm gonna want one scroll here I'm just gonna kind of lay it out with my pencil and maybe one no, that won't work. Um, just kind of giving myself a an idea of where I might want these guys to come from. Like that? No, don't like that either. Trying to find a, a I want more than one of these on this page, but I want
maybe like that. Maybe I'll do one going one way and one going the other. That would be good. Something like that. How's that? Is that, that good for a composition? You can put, put your composition on your page in pencil. You absolutely can. I think I want it more wider. Like that. Yep, you absolutely can pencil things in. You don't have to just start in pen. I think that makes a good composition right there. So that's where I want to start. So I'm going to have one going one way, one going the other. Start like that. And then on this one, Oops, wrong direction. Right about here, I'm going to start with this. And then this is going to come out around. Make sure it's touching there at one point. And like that. And then another one. Coming here like this. And out and around, and like that. Something like that. I think I want another one here. swirl like that something like that that one's cool I like that okay so now I'm going to do the other way I want to make sure I'm over far enough And now we're going to do it in the other direction. I'm going to start here. I'm going to come up. And then I'm going to come around. And around. Like that. So then this one's going to come up. It's going to go around. And around. This is awesome. I like this pattern. I've not done it before. I really like it. You can really get a lot of good movement with it. It's 
sort of like a some sort of French scroll work, some filigree. Really pretty. I never thought I could draw something like this. And it's really quite easy. I'm off the page. Sorry, I zoomed in a little too much, but... Look at those. Those are awesome. Absolutely awesome. And what I want to do is I want So I'm going to get myself a bigger pen for that border. Do I want the brush pen or do I just want a nice 08? I think I just want a nice 08. I like it when my when my design pops out of my border. I think I want a bigger border. with that so far so good I'm going to erase all of my pencil marks because I've got a lot of them on this one and I think what I want to do is I want to make this more sort of illustrative like like an engraving so I'm actually going to get my smaller and my 005 and I'm going to do a little bit of of extra pen work right here that makes it kind of look like an engraving And it's giving me shading with the pen. I think something like that. I think I want a little bit here as well. Maybe just a little. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Okay, everyone, tell me how your Christmas went. Like I said, I will, I'm recording this ahead of time, so I don't know what my Christmas was like, but I'm going to assume it was fun and awesome, and we had a good time with family. We had 
a nice dinner last night. Um, I'm recording this on the 10th. So on the 9th, we had a nice dinner with at our pastor's home with pastor and his wife and the other elders from the church. My husband's an elder at the church. Um, not everyone was able to make it, but it was a nice group and with some couple of people I haven't seen in a while. Um, one of the spouses uh, we don't see on a regular basis at church, so it was nice to have him in attendance. And uh, yeah, it just it, it it was it was good. It was good. Oh, look at how pretty that is with the with the shading. Sorry, that's that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So I'm doing the shading with a teeny tiny little 005. That one. Can you see it? 005. It's got the tiniest nib of any of my pens. Don't use it very often. But there's no way I can make this kind of uh, teeny tiny line shading without it. I could probably do it with, um, if I had a, a really fine tip ballpoint pen, that would probably work as well. But I don't tend to have those in my art area. Look at that. Was was that way off? It probably was. I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep it right here. And we'll just do the other ones going the other direction. I'm just flicking. I'm pushing down and lifting my pen as I go that way so that it just makes the thinnest, thinnest lines. almost almost non-existent but when you get a lot of them together then they make a cool thing but one line by itself is almost you almost don't see it's that thin like an eyelash super duper thin See, if I just do one or two, you can't hardly see it. I have to do a bunch of them all together for it to make its impact. Okay. I don't want to do some highlights as well, I think. And then I think in here, in between, I'm going to put a darker, like a gray. I'm going to use my, I think I'm going to use my pencil and smudge that. I think that would be the thing to do. This, that one's not very well shaped. Hmm, just yank off that funky end on there. Still funky shaped. I'm going to have to do something with that. Is that what I want to do? 
That might be too dark. I might want to lighten that up ever so slightly. Ah, better. Okay. So that's going to be the ticket for those. It's to put it in and then come back with my kneaded eraser and just take out just the slightest bit. Get it a little bit lighter in color. And then I'll come in with my white. Oh, I'm so enjoying this. Can't tell you how much I'm enjoying this. This is so much better than that than that darned grid. Like I said, Grids and I were friends, but we're not best friends. Organic patterns, however, and I get along famously. I love these organic patterns. They're just, I think part of it is just, part of it is just that I'm just not, my brain isn't scientifically and precisely aligned type person. Um, some of you are, some of you find that the grids are just your jam and that's awesome. It's just not mine. Um, and I just find that because of m the way I draw, I am not precise with my lines. I'm just not. I, I, I can be if I really work hard at it, but for the most part, you know, these are just quote-unquote quick drawings and I, I'm not spending hours and hours trying to draw precise lines. I'm, I'm doing well. I'm not, you know, trying to be haphazard, but I'm also not being super, like, you know, if I was on a, had a commission, I would be drawing in a much more controlled fashion. I would take more time. But I love the organic ones because if I have a, a line that doesn't go quite according to plan, you don't really see it because it's organic. It's it's flowy. It's, it's it just grows out of things. And you know, I'm almost thinking I want to make a one going the other way because it feels like it's it's not quite. I'll put a couple of these going the other direction on the outside, which I should have started lower, but that's okay. Like that. Maybe one here. Yeah. I like that. Needed a little something there. It was kind of blank. And then what I'll do is I'll come in with my pencil and put that shading behind. And then I'll come in with my white pencil and just give it a pop of, just a pop. And it'll just really come to life. Look at that. How pretty is that? I, I love that. I forgot I was using my little pen. That doesn't sign very well. Let's try again with that. And this was called... This was called Scroll Work Inside. Okay, let's do a little, a little shading in here. Get that kind of gray in the background because I don't want the green there. 
I want it some, I want it to, to fade away. The green needs to be here, not here. to go toward the background to recede into the shadows so you really don't notice it. Like that. And then a little blending. Already done that section, but softer, fill in those spots. Keeping my eye open for my phone in case it I get a message. I told my son I was out here in the studio. He needed me to text me. And then I'll come come in the house when I'm done. Once again this week, I only have one day to draw, so this is it. This is my big drawing day. I gotta get, gotta get my whole week done today. And that always just takes forever. We got um, one of the pieces of furniture moved into my studio and I can already hear just by moving one piece of furniture into here I can already feel that the echo is going away I have another piece that needs to come in but it's right now it's still in the closet in the guest bedroom so but I did a lot of cleaning and purging and um, that was awesome and I make that just a little bit not quite so I want it, but I want it subtle. Like that. You might not even be able to tell the difference between what I just did, but I can. So yeah, I got the I got the big um, credenza in here. I guess it's a credenza. I don't know what it's called. Sideboard? No, it's not quite a sideboard because it's not tall. It used to be in my aunt's home. Um, in her dining room. She used to have um, her good silverware and uh, tablecloths and things in it in her dining room. I'm keeping art supplies in it. It did have, it had some art supplies, some craft supplies in it, but mostly it had um, family photos and a bunch of junk. Old electronics that nobody has ever, you know, we kept because, you know, we may need it someday and then of course we never needed it someday. And had my son go through that. Is there anything that it, anybody still uses? Because if somebody still might use it, um, I was going to give it to the Goodwill. But if it was stuff that nobody even uses anymore because it was just too old, then it went into the recycling. I love this white pencil so much. Oh, so pretty. And you'll notice with the white pencil, I'm not doing it solid. See, watch when I come in here. Oh, too close not going to there right here see I'm not doing it solid you can still see some green through there just 
couple places I'm doing it a little darker, but it's patchy. It's not solid. But when you bring it out, it's just awesomeness. I love it. I just love it. You guys have uh, plans for the new year? Um, let's see. Will I be doing a video this week for New Year's? Not quite. New Year's Eve will be the next week. I suppose today, being on the 26th, is the big after Christmas shopping thing where if you got gift cards you they're burning a hole in your pocket and you have to go out and spend that money like today why you can't hang on to it for a couple of weeks until uh you know there aren't bazillions of people in the store i don't know but my my in-laws my sister-in-law is like that she she just loves to shop and she loves to shop with the crowds and i just don't get it it's just not my thing never has been my thing and so I don't go out shopping on the 26th. Just not my thing. Too many people. All right. Oh, I am so happy with that. I think I want to do something here on my border, but I don't want it white. Uh, maybe I'll use metallic, metallic greenish. Yeah, that's good. All right, I am so happy with that. Okay, let's hope that tomorrow's is just as fun as this one. I will be good with that. You guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, go out and do something nice for someone today. You know, make their world a better place. And um, I will see you later. Bye-bye.